just my name is Dawn Bennett, and this is the first class in the seven part series in Path to Passion. Whether you have a partner or not, what do you want to explore? What have you done in the past that doesn't suit you? And be curious. See if the things you feel that don't suit you or that you don't like or that you think you don't like actually have a base in your own physiology. Or was there a time where something was awkward or embarrassing? Or maybe you had a day where your sensitivity was really low or your sensitivity was different. And now your belief or emotion around it has changed. If there's been breaks of trust, breaks of rapport, breaks of a lot of things over time, like some of that is hard to get back and doesn't come back. So I also want to give you permission not to force things, not to feel like you have to fix your sex life in quotes, right? Or that it's your fault or that you need to make it better or it's your responsibility, right? This is an exploration of you. Yes, this is you are here because you want to make something better for yourself and perhaps for your partner, for your relationship as a whole. But don't put all the pressure on yourself. Be really gentle. Right? Because that's where healing comes from is self-forgiveness, self-love, and gentleness. I mean, look at our culture, right? Sex and sexuality are so dominant. Social media, magazine covers, television commercials, right? We all hear the word sex sells, sex sells. Everything, internet, cars, anything that people want to sell has some level of sex in it for the most part. Not always, right? But the internet has more pages and sites dedicated to sex than any other topic. But why is it important? And why is it linked to our happiness? Well, according to a Dartmouth study of over 16,000 Americans, sex is the number one activity that produces the single largest amount of happiness. So in theory, a vibrant sex life begets more happiness and greater happiness is correlated with increased longevity. According to research, 200 orgasms a year can reduce your physiological age by six years. So for those of you that are worried about your age, it's something to think about. Follow and like this channel, and if you're ready to learn more, check out my link below. This is just the beginning of what could be a healthier, happier life for you and your current or future partner. Remember, you are loved, you are loving, you are lovable. Namaste.